Hello everybody. Uh, in this video I'm going to be going through the new presets to offsets plugin. Uh, I did already make a video about this but I kind of neglected to hit on the reasons for using this rather than just updating all your presets individually. So what the plugin does starting from there is it will compare two position presets, uh, calculate any differences in the pan and tilt values between the two, and then apply those differences to the pan tilt offsets in your patch. And when it applies them, it will add or subtract from your existing pr uh, offsets. So for this video, I'm going to be starting with pan offset values of minus 90 just to demonstrate it's not going to take your minus 90 and just get rid of it and replace it with whatever the difference was it will adjust it by the difference. So if you the difference between the two presets was minus three on pan, this will become minus 93 instead of just minus three. So that's it for our, our setup here. Uh, the concept is that you can take one aerial position, update that, and all of your aerial positions will be updated uh, in effect. Basically, you're calibrating the fixtures from the desk, whether the pan or tilt didn't calibrate completely right or one fixture is yoked out a little farther than the fixture next to it or whatever the reason is a lot of the time you walk into a house rig and it'll look like this where you fly all your fixtures straight out but they don't really go straight out or their tilts don't line up or whatever the specifics of the situation are so i've built the previous file to replicate that we can see here that all of our pan values are zero and all of our tilt values are matching but obviously what we have coming out on stage does not look identical from one fixture to the next. So to correct that, we're just going to correct one preset and it will correct all of our presets for us. So right now, if we look through our aerial presets, our fan out looks wonky, our cross position looks a little screwed up. Straight up, we can see them crossing kind of weird in the air. Uh, this one's not going to really show it too much, but the rest of these, you can see pretty clearly that the fixtures are not matching. So you could go through one at a time, update them by that, or you can correct one of them, apply that to the offsets, and it should make them all look correct. So if you're coming out of previs or just going from one show to the next carrying the same rig, it should look the way that you expect it to look after correcting one. So I've gone ahead and made a corrected version of our straight preset here. And it's not perfect, but it's close enough for us to get the idea uh, that we take, we'll take preset position two and we'll correct it to look like uh, pre position preset one looks at the moment. So if we head over to our plugin, if we edit click or right click it, we have all of two settings that we can adjust. You can enable or disable offsetting pan or offsetting tilt. If you change this value to false, it will no longer offset tilt. If you change this one to false, it will no longer offset pan. There you go. So if we leave that, we click on the plugin, it'll ask us for the original preset number. It's asking for a position preset. We don't have to type two dot, just position preset two. Then the corrected preset is one. Then it'll run the plugin, it'll tell us which attributes it uh, processed, the original preset, the corrected preset, and how many offsets in total were processed. So if we hit OK here, we can see up on our, in our rig, in the previs rig, that now our corrected preset looks as off as our straight one did, and our straight preset now looks the way it's supposed to, with matching pan and tilt values. So the way you expect zero on pan to look actually is how it looks now. And if we go to the rest of our presets now, our fan out has been corrected, our block, our cross position has been corrected, straight up, we're not seeing the weird crossing going on in the air anymore. And again, you couldn't really tell with that one anyways. Uh, but because we've updated the offsets, which we can see by going into our patch here, all of those aerial positions have now been corrected by proxy. And we can see here that we have some minor differences between all of our pan and tilt values as a result of running the plugin. And that's the entirety of what it does. You update one position, all your aerial stuff should look right, and then you can go on to update your key light, specials, whatever else you've got going on. Uh, so that's it for this. Uh, you can find this plugin at my website, geoffdesigns.com. In the description, there should be a link on the screen. You can contact me on Facebook or through my website if you have any questions, comments, uh, or requests for new plugins or tutorials or any hardware integration you can think of. Um, hope you guys find some use for it. Stay tuned for more plugins and tutorials. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all next time.